I say, vote for me. What the hell do you have to lose? What is the new political movement that's got America talking? Blexit. 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 It's called Blexit, or Black Exit. The goal is to get African Americans who traditionally support the Democratic Party to ditch them in favor of the Republicans. I'm convinced that liberals hate black conservatives. It's been started by a group of conservative African Americans and they have a Blexit website and on that website are a number of what they call truths, reasons they believe that black Americans shouldn't vote Democrat. So how true are these truths? Well, let's start with this one, which is about the KKK, the racist white supremacist group. The Blexit website claims that the Democrats created the KKK. So is this claim true? Well, let's ask our political reporter, Anthony Zerka. Okay, so the KKK was started by people who were Democrats in the years after the Civil War, the late 1860s. But it wasn't founded by the Democratic Party, and there were Republicans who became members. But it's true that back in those days, its membership was predominantly Democratic, as it was in the early 20th century rebirth. Well, now there's been a complete shift. The Democrats have disavowed the KKK, as have most Republicans. But there have been some members of the KKK, such as David Duke, who have run for public office as Republicans. And that's the thing here. The Blexiters, let's call them that, are right. It was the Democratic Party which supported and promoted slavery. And it was indeed a Republican president, this man, who ended it. Which takes us to the next set of claims on their site that Democratic politicians condoned some of the most heinous acts of violence against African Americans during the Civil Rights Movement, and that President Harry Truman wrote a letter in which he said, Negroes ought to be in Africa. Okay, so during the Civil Rights Movement, the 1950s and 1960s, Democratic Southern politicians did support and condone racial segregation. And as for that letter, those words were written by Harry Truman back in 1911, 34 years before he would go on to become the U.S. President. And while in office, he desegregated the military and pushed his party to oppose racism and discrimination. And that's the thing here, the change in views from President Truman reflected the change in views of the Democratic Party. And by the 1960s, it was the Democrats who were pushing to end segregation and white-only public spaces. President Lyndon Baines Johnson pushed the Democratic Party to support black rights. That won the Democrats' support of African Americans across the South, but white Democrats weren't happy, and they switched parties to the Republicans. The Republicans moved to the right, and the Democrats became the party of choice for an overwhelming number of African Americans in successive elections. Of course, there are African Americans who vote Republican, but President Trump thinks he can get more to do so. Democrat policies have led to unsafe communities, failing schools, over-incarceration. He's got a job on his hands. In 2016, Donald Trump won only 8% of African American votes. So it's going to take a lot more than Blexit to turn that figure around. 